I, you know, they're battling for that third spot in the conference. They can really cut you up if you're not ready to go, and they made some shots and deserve a lot of credit for that. But then second half, I thought we got back playing to, you know, the way we are used to seeing them play and, and uh, how we're capable of playing. We, we have some other people that can help us kind of bridge this gap, and hopefully we'll, we'll get him back. You know, we have a bunch of guys capable of scoring 20. The beauty of it is we have so many that, you know, I don't always need them to or necessarily have the opportunity to because we share it so well. But obviously it was nice. Nigel's had a good run against them. And I really think shimmick has been uh, delivering uh, uh, exceptionally well here this last month. And uh, so it's, it's definitely been nice to be able to pitch it inside. And, and have him deliver like that. I mean, Nigel's a, he's a high character guy, he's a great teammate, he's focused, and he's a really, really focused individual who you know, doesn't need, doesn't leave anything to chance. Very organized with everything he does in his life and very prepared. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, our second half was uh, a lot better. Uh, I thought uh, we didn't really uh, take the scouting pool well in the first half. And, you know, I like how we adjusted in the second half, played a lot of harder, uh, more effort. You know, we altered a lot of shots, got the rebounds, and uh, got ourselves going off this event. Try to be down, down low and, uh, and deliver. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. But, you know, I thought everyone played, uh, played pretty good. And, like I said, I really liked our uh, defensive effort in the second half. Oh, we're not going to be. Uh, every single team by 20 at half, you know. So we got to be ready for that. We got to be ready to respond if uh, another team uh, plays uh, plays even with us. And you know, they they hit couple couple tough shots. They uh, they back at us a couple times in uh, to the for the easy lane. You know, we got we got we knew they are gonna do that. So we got to we got to be able to uh, to uh, play that and play our defense like we're supposed to from the from the game plan. Came out um, and like I said, uh, made a couple mental errors. Um, didn't follow the sky report um, but I don't think that had anything to do with us you know overlooking them or anything I just think there are mental errors uh, that we had to dial into in the second half any recognition or uh, national attention that we're getting um, you know one is a blessing from God and it's just a testament to our team you know and, and the way we play together night in and night out and just our hard work you know I, I'm blessed to be on a team that um, guys are in here constantly um, getting better working out and I think you know the better each of us are individually makes us a better collective unit so um, it's just a testament to our hard work and just a blessing. The best center in the country. I mean, it's, it's as simple as that. When when you play in one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think anyone in the country can uh, guard in one-on-one. -on -one. So, um, you know, Shimmick's been huge for us all year. He makes all of our jobs easier. And uh, we're going to keep feeding him. You know, we're going to go as far as he takes us. Yeah, I mean, I felt like I made the right decision when I made the decision. You know, like I said, um, you know, before I even played a game, I was very fortunate to be a part of this program. Um, and I didn't even know how it was going to play out. But just everything that they've done for me, um, you know, the, the, the effort and love that they've shown me ever since I stepped on campus has been tremendous. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't trade that decision in for the world. Yeah.